Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As the days go by, we get closer and closer to the NFL draft, where the Eagles have a ton of question marks. Should they draft a wide receiver? Should they select a linebacker? Maybe they take a kicker? Who honestly knows with Howie Roseman? But the question that we're going to dive into today is should they take a quarterback? Now, on one hand, you have Jalen Hurts. He didn't show you greatness. However, he didn't look like a bust as well. He looked like a rookie who didn't have a normal offseason due to COVID and needed time to get to know the playbook. On the other hand, you have guys like Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and even Mac Jones' name has been floating around the Eagles, even though I wouldn't even think about drafting him at 6 overall. Now, I think the Eagles shouldn't draft the quarterback, and here's why. For starters, the Jalen Hurts pick was one of the reasons that drove Carson Wentz out of town, so if you take a quarterback at 6, you're essentially setting your franchise back 5 years, and that Jalen Hurts pick makes even less sense now than it did last April, which seems extremely hard to do, considering how we all felt last April. Say Hurts does flop and you have another top 5-7 to seven pick in addition to that Colts pick, which we all assume is going to be a first rounder as long as Wentz stays healthy and the Colts succeed. Obviously, this quarterback class is stronger than next year's class, more deeper, more talented, but you're in the spot to take a quarterback again, and you know what Jalen Hurts can give you over a full 16 season, so we should give the man a full 16 game season to prove himself. Another reason is what quarterback is going to succeed in Philly with these conditions right now if you take a quarterback. Jalen Rager has not shown you enough to feel confident about him being your wide receiver one heading into the year. Travis Fulgham was a nice little thing for four games and dropped off the face of the earth. You're not going to have Zach Ertz. You've got Dallas Goddard and Miles Sanders, but what else do you have after that? I mean, the offensive line will be healthier, but they're, up, they're getting up there in age as well. You need to build around a quarterback and support him instead of bringing in someone to compete with him. The last thing this team needs, just from a media standpoint, is another quarterback controversy. You address the Zach Wilson, a Justin Fields at 6 overall. Say say you go Jalen Hurst as a starter. Every single bad throw it'll be, well, maybe, maybe do we give Zach Wilson the, the nod? You know, maybe we should put in Justin Fields. You know, if Jalen Hurst has a bad half, I, I'd be fine putting in Justin Fields for the second half, see what he can do. No reason for that. You need to support your starting quarterback. And you can get a stud wide receiver, not even a wide receiver, just a stud offensive weapon at six overall, and it doesn't even need to be a wide receiver. Obviously, Jamar Chase and your Devontae Smiths come to mind, but someone like a Kyle Pitts would help this team tremendously. So let me know down below, would you select a quarterback with a six overall pick, or do you think we should support Jalen Hurts and give him weapons on the outside? Thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.